No holding them once they get to eat. <laughs> oh, man, have you ever been made love to by a Frenchman? <laughs> not, not that I can recall. Huh? You're pulling my leg. No, I'd be glad to. He <laughs> says, oh dear, I'm afraid I'm going to wind up an old maid. And I say, I'll bring her in and we'll wind her up together. <laughs> Real old joke. Do okay. you like to cook? Well, let me put it this way. Do you like to fool around the kitchen? Because, <laughs> because if you like to fool around in the kitchen, you don't have to be able to cook. <laughs> Afraid of luck. <laughs> I would love to see your dimensions fluctuate sometimes. <laughs> Might make me rather nervous, but uh, we may not be crooked, but we're certainly obscene up here. Sometimes can't be sure you're right, even when they wear them tight. <laughs> things going on in college than I ever thought. What did people do before there were motels? <laughs> well, that's a recent development in the last 20 years or so. Now, uh, John, are potatoes really fattening? No, sir. It's what you put on them that's fattening. Like, what do you mean? Oh, butter, gravy, cheese. But if you put that on a, on a mattress, it'll fatten you too. <laughs> That's one of the few things I've never had on a mattress. You married too? Yes, I told her. <laughs> Did you tell her that immediately? No, afterward. Uh -huh. <laughs> After what? I, uh, a white uh, piece of flesh that isn't done. <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> no, I mean I've never heard it expressed quite that way. <laughs> You ever been out with a married man? That, that, that's not a very nice question. One time I I didn't say it was a very nice question. I'm just asking you, that's all. I'm just curious, that's all. But it was... I think that if a man stays on his toes, he can stay single all his life. If he stays on his toes, yes. <laughs> invariably they wind up on their heels would you be willing to quit acting and be a housewife and a mother well I think if you keep your feet on the ground you can combine both that's what I would like to do well if you keep your feet on the ground you'll never be a mother <laughs> she has a husband and they just stay home <laughs> you mean that what you're saying is that... <laughs> what you're saying is that if you're married, you don't have to go to a drive-in theater, is that it? I guess so. <laughs> you're saying you're learning a lot about the younger generation here tonight. Roommate has a job. A steady job, yes, and we pinch well, her Well, why couldn't I room with her? <laughs> as long as she's working. Could I pinch your pennies sometime? <laughs> I'm an old penny pincher from my way back, you know. <laughs> what sort of work do you do now, uh, Karen? Uh, well, alphabetically, or shall I just uh, rattle it off? Let me see now. I, um... I don't care. You can attack this any way you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an adventurer. And later, I'll do the same thing to you. <laughs> <laughs> Promise? <laughs> and I, uh... How'd you get the baby? <laughs> turned on the faucet and out came a little drip, I guess. I don't know. That's the nicest uh, description <laughs> of motherhood that I've heard in years. And uh, then I got married after nine months.
Well, you just got under the wire, kid. <laughs> he can love you all right, but uh, you mean he has to keep loving you 24 hours a day? Well, Suppose he's yeah, shooting pool I... or something. Well, how often would you want him to love you, I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, what? <laughs> I just want him home nights, you know? <laughs> I mean, how early at night? Well, <laughs> eight hours work and eight, eight hours uh, sleep and eight hours. <laughs> uh, I, you don't need a man. You want a guinea pig. <laughs> eight hours. Oh, boy. <laughs> Would he get time and a half or overtime? <laughs> Well, why do they call you Sam if your name is Eileen? I used to be built like a boy, more or less. <laughs> but I think I outgrew that a little. Well, that must have been some time ago. Huh? How old are you? Twenty. I would say that must have been 18 years ago. Huh? I got a job as a secretary. Uh-huh. How long that last? <laughs> Time, but I couldn't type or take shorthand. So. And it took your boss five months to discover this? <laughs> what do you suppose he could have been thinking about all that time? Boys on the first floor and the girls on the second floor, and I sure, sure kept me busy. Lots of times I felt like using a broom. <laughs> Why, did you want to fly around the room or something? No, I wanted to whip them out sometime. What was going on? Just different things. <laughs> I didn't know there were any different things. I... <laughs> I'm so innocent and naive. Where are you from, Joes? Oh, Arkansas. Boy, do we get familiar fast, huh? I beg Arkansas. your pardon? Would you mind throwing that out again? Oh, <laughs> no. Here. But Marilyn Monroe is doing to this country. It shouldn't happen at all. I, was, well, I decided I would uh, bake in some rolls. So I put two yeast cakes in. And I didn't get In your rolls. husband? No. <laughs> in the rolls. Oh. And then I put three more in. I still couldn't get no rice out of them. So then I. you arrived here, this was a perfectly innocent audience. <laughs> well, go on with the story, huh? We're hell-bent anyhow. Let's have it. You know, you're not supposed to be funnier than I am, huh? <laughs> Let me get an occasional chuckle here. <laughs> Five more yeast cakes. <laughs> Get no rise out of it. <laughs> he, must, he must have been around Mount Whitney by this time. <laughs> well, did he have a sail back again? So in disgust, I got so disgusted, I went and buried it in the backyard. <laughs> on top of it. <laughs> well, that's a very interesting story, Mrs. Well, Bynum. I didn't finish it. You said you finished your husband. I don't know. You hear the last of it. Well, what's happening? Well, about three days later, the sun was shining and it was hot. So he come running in the house and he said... He was still alive? <laughs> Yet. Oh. So he come running in the house and he said, Ann, come look and see what's coming out of our house, out of the ground. 
So I, it, this, uh, yeast had risen about a foot and a half, and right on top was a geranium. <laughs> what I did. Um, is, he, is he still alive? Well, I think so. Well, you better check when you get home tonight. Huh? He didn't eat the rolls, though. Oh, he did? No. Is there anything else uh, funny happen to you? Well, I don't know. Yeah. That we could possibly use on the show? <laughs> Not my fault, huh? What is gung-ho? Does that mean you worked in a Chinese laundry? <laughs> no, Groucho, that's marine talk. It means you're all marine. Oh. Are you sure your husband hasn't lost some of his buttons in his laundry? <laughs> I don't think he ever lost his buttons in the laundry, but he lost his pants at the wedding. <laughs> That's a little premature, isn't it? <laughs> Do you believe a woman should uh, work after she's married? No, but <clears throat> I believe it's only right until we get a little money ahead in case of a, well, a sudden little mishap. That's certainly a new name for it, huh? <laughs> If I'm going to get something that wiggles, I don't want a pillow. <laughs> Why don't you sell him one of those? There's no women up in that camp. <laughs> you may think you were describing a pillow. You were actually describing the girl of my dreams. <laughs> How old did you say you were? 31. <laughs> you had a girl, I imagine. Well, uh, how do you mean that? <laughs> well, I meant it in the, in, in the nicest way you possibly could. <laughs> I mean, at some time in these 31 years, there must have been some girl that you liked, wasn't it? Uh, I like traveling better, I'm afraid. Oh. Well, I don't see the comparison, but I suppose... <laughs> I know you need a bag when you travel, but I don't know... Call me madam, will you please? I'll that's call you much madam, nicer. Huh? That's nicer. Well, in some cycles, that's not considered such a nice... <laughs> Native Dancer was a famous racehorse who had just retired a stud. Crouching, Dwan, it'll get you nothing. Huh? <laughs> Is the food any good in this hash house? Wonderful. I eat chicken every night. I think I'm going to turn into a hen. <laughs> well, you haven't got too far to go, man. Uh -huh. I'm already there. No, I don't think so. You have five kids and no pigs, huh? And uh, we got three more. Three pigs? Three more uh, kids. You now have eight kids? <laughs> yeah, eight kids. And uh, where is your husband? Is he in the audience? No, just died three years ago. I don't know. How do you know he died? Maybe he's just hiding. No. <laughs> How do you analyze me? You? Oh, every time I see you with a cigar in your mouth, I think of all the frustrations you had as a child and the wrong kind of a bottle that they gave you. <laughs> Madam Miss Al, it may interest you to know that I never had a bottle. <laughs> Imagine taking roses out to a girl's house and fertilizing them. That's what he wants me to do. Right? You say you went on your honeymoon and you took your fishing tackle she with you? She insisted I take it. Well, Ed, if I was going on my honeymoon and my wife told me to be sure and bring my fishing tackle, I don't think I'd go on that honeymoon. I didn't fish a lot, you know, but I mean, no, I had I... it. There. <laughs> well, she certainly had the hooks into you, didn't she? She got them, yeah. Why is it when you're getting, a, you know, when you're sitting in a chair, the barber asks you a question, and just as you go to answer, he slaps a hot tail on your... Uh, 
towel on your kisser, huh? Two more questions left in this category. If you get one of them right, I'll give you the thousand dollars anyway, just because you've come this far. Yes, that's true. You keep out of this. Huh? <laughs> well, uh, automobiles couldn't run without felt. Aeroplanes couldn't run. Uh, the girls in California have that new look by this. You uh, mean the girls couldn't run without felt? <laughs> well, a lot of them are felt and then run. Huh? <laughs> of us in the family. We have not one John, nor Frank, nor Joseph, nor Mary. You have no John? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, they say they do things different in India. <laughs> it's out of this world. Well, do you... <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say you're halfway out now. I may, me and Mr. Kushner and I may have to pull you back in. <laughs> How many showers a day do you take, Ella? Uh, once every year. <laughs> what a skiss, California. You see, you should have married Ella instead of... <laughs> you'd, uh, be, you'd, you'd be pretty gamey by this time. <laughs> you were there with the oxygen uh, business pretty profitable? Well, sometimes it's almost too good. He's on 24-hour call, and... He's on 24-hour call, and you've got 10 kids? <laughs> yeah, he, he gets home in between. And I'm ready to start my 12th year on You Bet Your Life. Did you know that, George? I uh, 12 sir? years. Yes. One more year, and I'll get my mitzvah. <laughs> I, uh... I had a frozen daiquiri once when I was up north. Huh? <laughs> Last time I go out without long underwear. <laughs> Modeled what? Maternity clothes. Maternity clothes? Well, anybody can model maternity clothes. Well, he couldn't, for example. <laughs> I tried it once, and I was a complete failure. Oh, he's had many an old battleship all day, huh? I mean, when he was single. Oh, you're terrible. Yes, that's true. She's blonde like you and not married? No. Are you interested in matrimony? Not necessarily. Well, that's a different joke. I know the answer met um, a man and became bosom friends with him. And then... Um, a man was a bosom friend? <laughs> he was That's a very a, good friend. That's quite a trick. <laughs> no wonder he stayed on that island so long. I'd have been there yet under those conditions. I'll give it to you later on. <laughs> Would you part with this if she wanted it real bad? It depends how badly she wanted it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, in that case, would you part with it? Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> Why don't you lay down on the bench? That's what I want you to do. Huh? <laughs> I think you better right now. I think you're a mind reader. That's what I think. <laughs> you know, in the average American home, there are so many frozen dinners that even the housewives are getting frigid. <laughs> I better stop after that, I guess. <laughs> Who was the barbarian conqueror known as the Scourge of God? Scourge of God. S C O S C O U R G E. Scourge. 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 Scourge of God. What's the difference? They don't know what any of them. Pete, are you married? Yes, I am. You don't sir. subscribe to her philosophy at all, do you? I ca I've been at it 33 years, and I think You've it's been going to work. You've been at it? Well, that's a kind of a... You <laughs> must be worn out by now. Uh, no. <laughs> In the post there wasn't a can, it was the jail, the county jail. <laughs> There's a commercial going on now. 
I wondered where... Which gives you an opportunity to go to the bathroom. <laughs> One night, my husband uh, woke me up by talking in his sleep, and he turned to me and he said, uh, Young lady, do you have your statement of identity? <laughs> And what did you say? You know, I'm a stranger here myself. <laughs> and then after that, I suppose you got married, huh? <laughs> Get a load of those sex maniacs over there. <laughs> Fine looking gang. Got a lot of pep for a man with six children. <laughs> Where he gets it from. Population explosion. <laughs> Every nine months in his house. <laughs> Doesn't even wait until it's cooled off. <laughs> Listen, you're laughing. This is a serious problem today. Try and find a parking space. You know what Shakespeare said? Parking is a sweet sorrow. <laughs> What makes you think just because a man is five inches uh, taller than six feet that this makes him a, a man? Well, you know, uh, it doesn't go by size. A man's size has nothing to do with his ability in any way. I'm trying to keep this out of a <laughs> euphemistic way. But I question very much whether I'm succeeding. I don't think I've succeeded at anything here tonight. I will cure you by going... To the laboratory and getting a little tea. Show me germ. where. <laughs> laboratory. Laboratory. What's a laboratory? Laboratory. You know. Oh. You mean the laboratory, huh? <laughs> that would sound very rude in England. Yes. Well, it does mm. here sometimes too. <laughs> what? You went to a mushroom right after that. <laughs> That's what they call a motel, you know. <laughs> what did people do before there were motels? Huh? <laughs> now, that's a recent development in the last 20 years or so. But you love your husband, huh? Yeah, I love every man. I'm crazy about men, honey. I think you're about the prettiest man I've ever seen. I never did look you right square in the eye before. <laughs> Telling the truth, I don't care if they do lie. You're gonna win a lot of money here today. <laughs> Temperature. You're gonna have to put your shoes on again, you know. <laughs> it is getting deep, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't like the Marines. There's a sailor there. <laughs> Full of salt, Peter. He can't hardly get up. <laughs> You weren't even engaged, and you were discussing with this fellow how many children you were going to have? Isn't that a little premature? <laughs> huh? I hope you're not a little premature. Oh, no. Has <laughs> many a husband been hooked by that process, Jackie? I don't know. You're not a girl. <laughs> Well, how, how did you figure that out? <laughs> you know, that's the nicest thing that's been said to me tonight. <laughs> Say, what would you like? Yes. Well, I... if we weren't here in front of this crowd, I... <laughs> I have an answer for that. That would get me thrown out of the restaurant. <laughs>